Jamie J here. I am coming to you to share some information and the information I would like to share today is is um, defining faith. Um, a lot of people say that they have faith or they believe in certain things and I don't and when you ask them to define what it really is you can't really get an answer so I wanted to just take the time to just really give like what a definition of what faith is um, and allow you to see different perspective from other people or other um, sections which use faith very heavily which is mostly in the spirituality realm and um, allow you to make your own decisions of or analyze do you really have faith or is it really something that you um, subscribe to <laughs> so let's let's begin so faith is defined as confidence or trust in the unseen or unproven. Um, usually, faith is usually related to spirituality. Faith and knowledge are both required for spiritual growth. Uh, and faith involves ego self, outward obedience. Yet faith must be based on a deep personal understanding of your belief in the unseen. Um, and faith is taught through a bunch of different spiritual um spiritual avenues um there's as you know that there are 30 over 33,000 different types of uh different denominations of the, uh, christianity um and there are so many other religions and um spiritual practices that are not even spoken about or even understood so the the premise of faith is really something that you have to kind of figure out in your own way and find your own truth within that and the whole point of me just sharing this is so you can kind of find your own truth within that um so in the buddhist in the Buddhist eye, the idea of blind faith does not apply in what they hold true, but a practice of trust that you will ideally lead to the goal of enlightenment through a courageous act of will and self-confidence that you have um, is the core belief um, of the Buddhist. Um, and they believe that is your duty to investigate any teaching and live by what is learnt and accepted rather than um, believe in something simply because it's taught. So within their realm, they're asking you to just be, use your mental capacities and, and, and learn. <laughs> and, and you have to be able to uh, back up what your beliefs are. And back up is not a way of uh, causing issues within someone else if your, your beliefs are not aligned. It's just coming to an understanding of why you understand or believe what you believe. Um, and that may enlighten someone else. Uh, so it's worth it. And within Christianity, faith in the New Testament is translated as belief, uh, faithfulness, and trust. And there, like I said, there's over 33,000 uh, denominations of Christianity. So there are various views uh, regarding the nature of faith. Um, some believe that true faith results in good works, while others believe that faith in Jesus brings eternal life. Um, all Christians unanimously agree that the Christian faith is aligned with the ideas and examples of the life of Jesus. Um, to a Christian, faith is not static, but causes one to learn more of God and to grow, which is a beautiful premise to build upon um, in the area of faith. Um, and the next one that is highlighted is the Islamic faith. Um, Islamic faith is more of a metaphysical in which the followers believe in Iman, I hope I'm pronouncing that pro pro properly. It's I-M-A-N, which is com complete submission to the will of God. Not unquestionable or blind, but complete submission. Um, and this faith, Iman, must be accomp accompanied by righteous deeds. And, and righteous deeds plus complete submission um, to the will of God, together um, you have what is necessary to enter paradise. So their goal um, ultimately is to enter paradise and they do that or they can kind of ensure that <laughs> entrance into paradise by both uh, having righteous deeds or completing righteous deeds and also full submission to the will of God so it's not like they're acting on their own way it's like it's just you're doing what <laughs> you're supposed to do um, and according to John Lennox um, at the University of Oxford um, faith is not a leap in the dark it's the exact opposite it's the commitment based on evidence. And he concludes this by saying, it is irrational to reduce all faith to blind faith and then subject it to ridicule. Um, this provides a very 
anti-intellectual and convenient way of avoiding intelligent discussion. And the whole point of me bringing these things up is to allow for the discussion, intelligent discussion. So if you believe in something, then you should have facts, <laughs> or tr your truth to back it up. Um, not just, you know, believing in it and, and totally being opposite. You have to you really um, be understanding of all different things because there are over seven billion people on this earth and and people everyone has been raised or have a different point of view of what their life is like at this point so you have to be understanding of that so thank you so much for tuning in for my talk on faith and i hope that you find something in here that inspires you and i hope it encourages you to um really evaluate your values and things that are that you hold true to yourself and um grow <laughs> blessings to you hope to see you soon Bye.